Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to check out this video. In today's video, I will be doing system test number one, series three of my Firelight MS9600 UDLS system requested by Michael Donovan. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so coming up here for NAC one, he requested the system sensor P2W set on 15 Candela, low volume, code three. And this is on System Sensor Sync. And over here, NAC2, he requested the Gentex Commander 3 set to Code 3 Horn, low volume. This is on Gentex Sync. Just a volume warning for headphone users. These horn strobes will, will be out of sync, so I recommend that you please turn down your volume. Down here for the first conventional pull station, Michael Donovan has requested the Gamewell MS7. And over here beside my closet for the second conventional pull station, he requested the Firelight BG-12L. So this will be just like the last system test on the SK panel where I will do the full walk test first and then I'll do a bell test. And this will also be divided into two parts as well. All right, as usual, before we start our system test, let's make an announcement of the microphone of the VEC-2550 saying that we are about to begin. Attention in the building, attention in the building. We will be testing the life safety system at this time. Again, we will be testing the life safety system at this time. Please disregard all signals until further notice. There's no need to evacuate at this time. Again, please disregard all signals until further notice. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the panel into walk test. So to do that, I'm just gonna go to the main menu, enter the passcode, which I cannot show y'all. And we're gonna go down to walk test, and we'll do an audible walk test. And we're going to view the points that have been tested and not been tested. All right, the panel's now in walk test. And we're actually going to start by doing the key, the 2098 key switch first. Here we go. Three, two, one. the key switch now we're going to go ahead and go over and test the firelight sd355 all right so now i'm just going to hold my magnet up to here and it'll activate the sd355 here we go now we're going to go ahead and test the fst851 rate of rise heat detector but I will be using this magnet tool thing instead of my hair dryer this time. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, next up, we're going to go ahead and do the duct detector. First, we're going to go ahead and activate it with the switch. I'm just going to hold the magnet up here and that'll activate the duct detector. Here we go. In three, two, one. This time we're at the enunciator instead of the panel. Now we're just gonna go ahead and go over beside the panel. We're gonna test the first conventional pull station. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and activate the first conventional pull station. Here we go in three, two, one. Now we're going to come over here, we're going to do the JBC-12LX. Right, 
next up, we're gonna do the Firelight BC12L. Here we go. And coming over here to you know not Seater shows that the Hochiki detector has not been tested. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, I'm just gonna hold my magnet tester up to the Hochiki detector and that'll go ahead and activate it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's try it this way. Alright everybody, this concludes part one. Y'all stay tuned for part two.